In this part one Patreon bonus video of Movie Curator Shelf Club, I'll be putting together a shelf of underrated and hidden gem films. Hey, it's me, AP, aka Mr. Movie Cheer, and welcome back to another Patreon bonus video. Uh, and this is the, the first Patreon bonus video of Movie Curator Shell Club. Uh, it is a series on the main channel, but I thought let's do some of these uh, as as bonus Patreon videos as, as well. So this is going to be a two-part of this. This is part one of this particular shelf and the description of this shelf I'm putting together, as I said in the intro, is going to be underrated films slash hidden gems. Um, I think it's, you know, it's really subjective what you, you know, what you think is a hidden gem or an underrated film. Sometimes you can go on like Rotten Tomatoes and see if it's maybe something under like a three star rating. Uh, I've looked at some of the ratings and I've also kind of like looked at some of these what I think that are maybe not discussed as much as other movies in the similar genres. So I'm going to explain why I think they're maybe underrated or a hidden gem uh, throughout this video. But I thought I'd also combine that shelf as well to underrated and hidden gem movies. Uh, because I think hidden gems, first of all, are really hard to find. And I think it's hard to find some really good cracking hidden gems. Underrated movies as well. I thought let's combine them into one shelf and uh, so I'm going to do half the shelf in this first video today and in part two I will complete the shelf as well. But let's, uh, let's get to it, let's start off with the shelf and let's have a look at the movies that are going to go on the shelf. So the first movie I'm going to start off with is The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh, starring Sean Connery, the late great Sean Connery. This was his last acting performance. Uh, he did retire then. He retired and then just enjoyed retirement for many years before he passed away. I think it was like this year, 2022, or last year, 2021. Um, but this is an adaption. It is a, like a graphic novel series. It kind of really, you know, you've got like the Invisible Man. You've got Connery as the leader of this group of like vigilantes. Uh, going on a task to take on this evil force and you've got the invisible man Jekyll and Hyde in there and a few other characters like vampires I think is it, I, I think there might be I don't think it's Dracula but I think there is like a, a some sort of vampire character in there as well but I feel like this is is a underrated movie I think it's a really a good adventure movie and uh, good action adventure and I, I really enjoyed this one League of, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen it's not feels like it doesn't get as much um sort of like affection from fans of movies it doesn't get talked about as much i really like it i think it's a fun action adventure movie and i just i just like it it's just like it feels like his his character maybe well it feels like more indiana you know he's like playing like this this aged indiana jones like character and you know it's obviously with the link up of him playing Indy's father in, in the Last Crusade, it feels like it like it's some sort of like a spiritual successor in a way. I've never read the graphic novels, so I can't really comment on the you know the the adaptation of this. But I think it's a really fun movie, well worth checking out, and it's going on the shelf as the headline movie of underrated movies. Next up, I want to discuss John Carter, and this is a Disney sci-fi movie released a couple of years ago now. It's probably getting on for 10 years ago when I had this movie. Basically, John Carter is a book series, and this at the time, look at it on it, Star Wars for a New Generation. They were kind of like bigging this up to be the next big Star Wars thing before Disney actually purchased Star Wars, or maybe it was around the same time. But um, John Carter was, you know, I think it was meant to be like a, a series of movies and it only got one adaption because there's loads of books. And it's a shame. I think it's a really underrated movie and kind of like underrated slash hidden gem. It's a really cracking sci-fi movie. I really enjoy this. A family member put me onto this movie, said it's really worth well worth checking out. Kind of dismissed it at the cinemas and the trailers, wasn't really interested at the time. Watched it on home release though, really enjoyed it. I think John Carter is a fantastic film and worthy of being on the underrated hidden, hidden gem movie shelf. The next movie I'm going to discuss is another science fiction movie, a science fiction comedy Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, if you know, you, know you, maybe you've read the book, so you've seen the 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 TV show adaption. I think it was in the the 70s or 80s. 
Uh, but this is the the movie starring uh, what's his face? Uh, I always think of these. You got Sam Rockwell. You got Martin Freeman as the main guy in this. Sam Rockwell's in the uh, Zoe Deschanel. A few different, few other familiar faces as well. Alan Rickman, the voice of Alan Rickman's in this as the robot. I, I really like this movie. I, I like the. I, I watched this first, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and then later on went and read the books and really enjoyed the books as well. But it's just it's light-hearted. It's British. It's a British comedy going into space, and basically the Earth gets destroyed, and it's just like going into this adventurous space as hitchhikers in the space world, and it's just a great. Martin Freeman's really fantastic in this. I think he's really good. And uh, I, I would love to have seen a sequel. I don't think we're ever going to get a sequel to this, but it was a superb film. I think it was, I think it's a hidden gem for me. Kind of more than like an underrated movie. Maybe, maybe a bit of both, but I think for me, hidden gem more so, because I think it's just a, a really fun science fiction movie and a really like sci-fi comedy. I really enjoy this and it's going on the shelf and I'm really happy it is. The next movie to enter the shelf is Tom Cruise and Morgan Freeman in Oblivion. Uh, Oblivion is a, such a good sci-fi movie. I, I think, first of all, what hits me the most is the visuals of this movie. Basically, it's it's sort of, it's set in like a future world, and there's a lot of mystery going on. I don't want to really spoil the plot of this, but there's a lot of mystery going on in this world. And Tom Cruise works as this engineer-type character. And basically, Morgan Freeman is is on Earth, and he's like the kind of like the antagonist of the story uh, for what it seems on the stu on the surface of things, really. Uh, but there is more to do to do this story, a bit of mystery to this story. And I think, like I said, the visuals. I think the the score in this by M83 is is phenomenal. Really great score. Really good sci-fi movie. And I feel like it's an underrated movie. This one. I think it doesn't get as much appreciation as other sci-fi movies and also as other Tom Cruise movies. I think this comes in an era when you had, you know, Tom Cruise doing a lot of sci-fi, like even like the, the Live, Die, Repeat one, uh, Edge of Tomorrow, and that was kind of another one that's kind of a bit, for me, underrated, but I think this is more so. I don't feel like it, it gets enough taught, like this movie is not talked about as much, and I really enjoy Oblivion. I think it's a really cracking movie, really worth watching. And it's going to enter the shelf, and it deserves to be on the shelf of underrated and hidden gem movies. Next up, I am going to discuss The Butterfly Effect, starring Ashton Kutcher and Amy Smart. Really one of my favourite sci-fi movies of like the last 20 years or so. It's, it's a, a great movie, this Butterfly Effect. Basically, the, the premise of the story, the kid has like these blackouts throughout his life, Ashton Kutcher's character. And he starts writing these notebooks when he's younger. And then when he gets older, he goes and reads these books, and he can, once he starts reading about his blackouts, he goes back into the time zone of when he was having that blackout, and he, he can... He goes into where he was blacked out, and then he he has he can, he can like change the world, and basically he changes reality, and he can change time. Then, and he goes into this, and then you see different ch like changes in the timeline happen because of what he you know he changes events in in history, and it's a really good movie. I actually remember seeing the sequel. The sequel is not actually that bad as well, but it's nowhere near as good as the original, and I think it's a for me, I think on Rotten Tomatoes, it had like a, a three or four star rating. So it had a decent rating. But for me, it's a movie that is maybe not talked about as much. I, and maybe it's because Ashton Kutcher is not really thought of as this science fiction actor. He's maybe thought of as more, you know, comedies in like the 70s show. And he was in Two and a Half Men and stuff. And maybe he's not really thought as, as, a, as a legit movie star. But I think in this one... He really he is a good like actor. I like him. I, I think he was good in the um, the Apple when he played um, the head of Apple, Steve Jobs. I really like that, that that movie as well. The Steve Jobs adaptation he did the biopic. But Butterfly Effect is is a really fun movie for me as a sci-fi fan. I like it, and I'm glad it's going on the shelf of underrated films. Next to go on the shelf is one of my absolute favourite movies of all time, a cult classic, but also I think still to this day is kind of underrated, even though it's classed as this cult classic now. Um, I, I feel like in, in certain sectors, this one is laughed at, but Masters of the Universe, starring Dolph Lundgren, Frank Langella, 
it's for me it's it's not again kind of like butterfly effect it's got this cult level but it doesn't feel like it, it's it gets the appreciate it feels like people some people say you know it's a really good film that and some people like go like oh this is super cheesy and it is cheesy but i think it's a really decent sci-fi movie at the same time i think you like star wars uh you will like masters of the universe i think skeletor is is a excellent villain played by frank langella i, I really like it dolph lundgren is perfect as he man i would have loved it to see sequels to this movie back in the day even now a sequel would be cool to see like a tv show adaption but i really like this film and it's going on the shelf as an underrated movie on the shelf of this collection The next movie I'm going to discuss is Mannequin, starring Kim Cattrall and Andrew McCarthy. This is, again, I looked on like Rotten Tomatoes and it had like a, it was below three on the ratings, so it didn't have high ratings. Also, again, it doesn't feel like a movie that is like a, like a beloved movie of the 80s. It's an 80s movie. Basically, the premise of the story is uh, Kim Cattrall's character is, you know, well, Andrew McCarthy's character works at this, uh, this shop and basically he falls in love with this mannequin and Kim Cattrall's character is from like Egyptian times and she turns into the mannequin at night and then they fall in love it's like a love story and uh, then it's basically the story of her you know coming to life will she come to life will she not and it's just a fun comedy movie great some really good 80s music in this and yeah I, I think for me like 80s movies I think you get like Breakfast Club your, your dirty dancings, your, your flash dance, your footloose, maybe not fat flash dance, footloose. There's more like, there's a few more like your Uncle Bugs uh, and more talked about in the 80s genre of movies. But this, for me, is like a hidden gem more. It's more like a hidden gem movie, Mannequin, because it doesn't get discussed as much. And I feel like Kim, I watched Kim, Kim Cattrall in uh, Big Trouble and Little China the other week and it made me think of this movie. I think, you know, I don't really ever hear it talked about on like, any other movie review podcast or anything I watch, um, no one ever mentions this. I never see it online. And it is a really decent movie, Mannequin. And uh, I, I really like it. It's Like I said, it, it's fun. It's cheesy. It's one for the whole family. And it's just, it's a good movie. I think it's, it deserves to be on this shelf as a hidden gem movie. So the last movie I want to discuss for part one today of this shelf is Yogi Bear. This was a recent pickup for me. Uh, Yogi Bear, an adaption of the of the, the Hanna Barbera cartoon. In this adaption, you've got Dan Aykroyd voicing the the doing the voice of Yogi Bear, and you have Justin Timberlake as the voice of Boo Boo. And uh, what an unlikely pairing! But they actually on screen them two are, are great as the voices. They really sound very much like the the cartoon adaption of the Yogi Bear cartoon but it's just a fun movie i think this is a hidden gem for me this is more definitely a hidden gem i remember at the time like never watching it at the time and years later watching it on tv and then finally picking it up on physical media really just is a fun movie it's an animated cgi burr in a park full of humans and the t you know the burr talks people in this world know that bird talk like the birds there talk and stuff like that it's not like an unusual thing They're, he's trying to steal picnic basket baskets and they basically got, got to save the park and it's just a it's just a fun movie it's a fun movie nothing too serious something you put on and just chill and and laugh to and this is why I, I like and it's a hidden gem and the last one in part one of this video today and i'm really happy it is on part one So that is half of this shelf of underrated movies and hidden gem films uh, done now. So there will be a part two of this, but I, I think uh, I'm really happy with this selection so far of what's what's on the shelf so far. I feel like it's a it's a decent you know starting point for this shelf. Halfway there with some good underrated and hidden gem films. I, I think Yogi Bear though is it as well. Yogi Bear and Mannequin. Uh, are two like mannequin is a really fun movie really fun and yogi bear as well really if you if you know you, you want to watch something with a family or you just want to have a laugh yourself stick on yogi bear well worth checking out uh, but that is I'm, I'm really happy with the outcome of this first part of this shelf
So that is this Patreon bonus video over and done with for, for today, part one anyway. There will be a part two of this particular topic. Uh, but let me know what you your thoughts are on this shelf, ladies and gents. Uh, what do you think of the movie so far on this, this Hidden Gems underrated movie shelf? Do you think the right movies are on the shelf so far? What would you put on the rest of this shelf? What would be your predictions? What would be a movie that you feel like should go on this shelf. Um, obviously, it's from the collection behind me, but let me know your thoughts. What would be on your underrated and hidden gem films shelf? Uh, let me know your thoughts, all oh, ladies and gents. Uh, I just want to say a big thank you again to you as patrons. Uh, you help support the podcast, the Movie Cheer podcast, the Movie Cheer Town community to grow even further and bigger and i really do appreciate all of your support as a patreon thank you very much uh, thank you very much for watching this late this video patreons ladies and gents uh, thank you very much remember to spread a bit of movie cheer i nearly forgot my, my catchphrase then <laughs> remember to spread a bit of movie cheer and as always i will see you next time